This is our tip of the week this week. Today we're going to talk about converting a 3D document into a black and white detail. Now we talked about 3D documents a minute ago. And as you recall, the way that you create that 3D document is by creating that marquee around a section of your project, right clicking and say show selection marquee in 3D. When you do that, that 3D de detail will then show within your 3D window and you can right click within that 3D window and say new 3D document from 3D. And this will then create a, by default in ARCHICAD, unless you change the default, it will typically create a shaded view of that 3D window. Now that shaded view uh, is a, it's, it's, it's a live view, but it's a static view that says that you can't, even though it looks like it's a 3D view that you can move around, you can't. It's actually now become a, a live view in terms of, of if any updates have the model, it will update, but you can't navigate and change the, 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 the view of that uh, 3D document. So if you want to do that, you do have to then update this 3D document to change the view. Now, once I've done that, I may want to also convert that to a black and white drawing. And there's some key settings you need to set in order to make sure that that is showing as a black and white document. Now, the nice thing about the 3D details or 3D documents is that I can, just like a, a detail window or a section elevation window, I can add notes on, I can add uh, dimensions on, I can add uh, uh, line work, et cetera, and I can embellish this, this 3D document further. To change this to black and white, I need to come over, I need to right click in my 3D window, select 3D document uh, selection settings, and then open up these settings. Someone says they don't hear any sound, but I don't see anybody else except for one person say they don't hear any sound. So my suspicion is that that's just with one person. So if everybody else, anybody else lets me know that they have sound, I'm, I'm assuming everybody does, it's only one person so far. Uh, that says they don't have any sound, so I'm sorry about that, for the, uh, but I'm assuming everybody else has sound. So, hold on one second. Okay. Okay, good. It looks like everybody else has sound. Great. All right, so it looks like it's just one person. All right, sorry about the interruption. Um, so in, in terms of setting the black and white uh, uh, settings here, so what you want to do, once you've got the three document settings open, you want to go down to model display. Um, you want to select file uh, fill cut surfaces with. Now, this is the cut surface. That's like this cut surface right here, right? What do I want the cut surface to look like? So here I could say a uniform surface, and then I could select it all to be black, right? And I can do the same thing with the uniform pin cut element as well, if I want that all to be a uniform black. Now, uncut elements are going to be your surfaces, right? So rather than these being shaded surfaces, I want to change this to fill uncut surfaces with a uniform pin color. And you want to set this, it's really important, you want to set this to white, okay? Because what that's going to do is that's going to set um, your setting here for everything to be white instead of the various types of fill uh, shades that it would show by default when you first create. So like I said, when you first create this, it's going to look like this. So if you want it to look like that, you need to change that. And yeah, I guess I got put in there twice. But anyway, um, yeah. And so then that's going to allow you to set this to, to look at um, that uniform surface or set, set the uniform surface uh, so it looks consistent. And then also uniform pin color, as I mentioned, uh, down here for uncut settings. So you want to set the fill surface to a uniform pin color and then set this to white as well. And then once you've done that, then that's going to allow you to then be able to add in your annotation, your 2D information, et cetera, to this, start adding online work. And then you can save that as a view that will then save those settings. So in the future, when you open that up, it'll always look black and white. It'll look like a detail. And it really does work well for um, uh, 3D details with an ARCHICAD. And that is our tip of the week.